here's this week's edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T Uverse 99. Here at Blue Springs High School, we are thankful for all of our wonderful students. But what makes the campus so great isn't just the students, but also the teachers. One of our very own teachers has been recognized for outstanding work with the Teacher of the Year Award. Here's Kaylee Chapelo with the story. Every year, Blue Springs High School chooses one teacher to be selected as Teacher of the Year. For the 2013-2014 school year, Miss Minnis was chosen. However, this year is special because Miss Minnis was also selected as a Blue Springs School District Teacher of the Year, which is a huge honor. I caught up with Mr. Adams to hear what he had to say about Miss Minnis. Well, I think that if you know Miss Minnis, she just has such an infectious personality and a great enthusiasm for teaching, and she's just been such a uh, powerful asset to our school community and, and uh, someone that all the students could go to, and she's been a leader amongst the staff. So I think she's just a great asset to uh, the education profession and certainly a great representative for Blue Springs High School as Teacher of the Year. Next, I talked to Miss Minnis to see how she reacted when she found out that she had won Teacher of the Year. Um, in the building, we had a faculty meeting and they announced and Mr. Adams um, walked over and handed me flowers. Um, and I just kind of sat there for about three minutes, not moving, because of never in a million years, so I think that would happen. Um, for district, uh, Mr. Adams hugged me and then I walked up to the front and talked to Dr. Kinder. Um, again, shocked but excited. What a great teacher to represent what Blue Springs High School is all about. Congratulations, Miss Minnis, on your outstanding achievement. Signing off from Wildcat TV, I'm Kaylee Chapelo. I think all of us can agree that we are glad to have such a great role model here on campus. Speaking of role models, the football team is organizing next year's senior trip to Jamaica. Here's more information regarding fundraising and the trip. This summer, Coach Marble will be taking some senior football players from the class of 2014 on a mission trip to Jamaica. But before they can take part in this life-changing experience, they must first raise the funds to make this trip possible. Here's a few players with some information about their next fundraiser at Lunar Bowl. We're going to have a bowling night for us traveling to Jamaica with fundraising. It's going to be on May 19th. It's also the same day as our Liftathon, so just in case people want to come out and watch us at the Liftathon. We're having a fundraiser May 19th at Lunar Bowl with South. Uh, the tickets are $20, so if you see one of us, you can buy a ticket. $20. Uh, we'll be there. There'll be a silent auction, uh, raffles. Uh, you get to, with the ticket, you get free shoes and lanes to bowl in, so it's a pretty good deal. So seniors, some of you may have heard about the baccalaureate, but do you really know what it is? We now go to reporter Weston Mooneyham to tell us about this event. Hi, I'm sure most of you don't know exactly what baccalaureate is, so I caught up with a few of the students on the planning committee to get some more information on it. Well, baccalaureate is a church service for seniors who want to come. It's going to be a time we can get together as uh, people who have been together and grown for four years and talk about um, what God has done at our school and through us and to regroup for college or whatever else is coming up in the next chapter. Baccalaureate is basically a church service for seniors and their families to come and kind of um, figure out what they're going to do um, with their faith in college and um, just kind of figure everything out. Baccalaureate is uh, on Wednesday the 22nd at 7 o'clock. It's going to be in the PAC. It's going to be hot. This event will be held Wednesday, May 22nd from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the PAC. There will be a student worship band. The theme for the night will be 1 Peter 2.9 and 2 Timothy 4.7. The speakers will be Curtis Chapin, Joey Butler, Lisa Brockmeyer, and Mr. Manuel. More information can be found on the Facebook event page or on Twitter at BSHS Back 2013. Just love to see you there, anyone who's a senior. Sounds like a great opportunity for you to come out and praise God. For Wildcat TV, I'm Weston Mooneyham. This year we have a few teachers who will be retiring. Desiree Sandy has the story. Hi, I'm Desiree Sandy reporting for Wildcat TV. Not only are the 2013 seniors graduating this year and moving on to the next journey of their lives, but so are a few members of the Blue Springs High School faculty. Ms. Hennessy, who teaches special education, has been teaching for 36 years. I had the opportunity to catch up with a few of her students to ask them why they think she's so great. Ms. Hennessy, thank you for being my math teacher and helping me with all my classes. I hope you have a really good time and I hope to see you in the future. Ms. Hennessy always help her students in every way. What can I say about Miss Hennessy? She is an, a really amazing teacher. I feel like I can talk to her about anything. She's just one of my best teachers that I've really been able to connect to. One of our art teachers, Miss Higgins, is also retiring. She told me that she had been teaching for nearly 30 years and said that even though she's retiring, she doesn't think that she'll ever really stop teaching. I also asked a few of Miss Higgins' students what she meant to them. JJ has inspired me to step outside my box. 
JJ has inspired me to let my creativity flow and just do any project that I think of, no matter how weird it is. Miss JJ Higgins has helped me open my mind to different perspectives of art. I'm gonna miss her because she always has something awesome to say to brighten your day when you're down. <laughs> After his 30 years of teaching, Coach Hines will also be retiring. Coach Hines told me that he'll miss the bonds he's been able to make with the students and fellow coaches and teachers he's had over the years. When I talked to a few students who have played baseball with Mr. Hines being their coach, they had great memories with him. I'll never forget Coach Hines because of his pregame speeches. He was never at a lack of words and his pregame inspiration was second to none. Never forget Coach Hines walking through the catwalk with his megaphone and he's inspired me to be a better person. Coach Hines has been great to play for the past few years because he's always someone we can go and talk to and he's always there to encourage us and make us play better. Coach Hines is a great coach because he always knows the right thing to say to get the team motivated before the games. Blue Springs speech and debate coach Miss Shoemaker has taught for 16 years and has decided to retire as well. She said she'll never forget all the relationships and memories she's made with students and teachers over the years. I had a chance to talk with a few of her current students to see what they thought of her. And one thing that I'm, I'm probably going to miss about Miss Shoemaker is she always tells it like it is. She's got a very brash style. Uh, she's not afraid to tell you if, if you're wrong about something or if, uh, if you don't have, have your ducks in a row, she'll, she'll call you out on it. Ms. Shoemaker's been my coach for the past few years, and without her help, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything that I have as, as a part of the Blue Springs Debate Program, and I sincerely thank her for all of her time and all of her effort. Ms. Shoemaker has been the greatest part of my senior year so far. I couldn't have done debate without her coaching, and I think that the school is going to lose a great debate teacher, but she has made a huge impact on this program. Teacher of pre-AP and AP chemistry for over 20 years, Mr. Manuel told me that he will forever remember and miss greatly the bonds he shared with his colleagues and students over the years. Interviewing some of his current and past students, I found out that we will never forget him or the inspiration he's given us over the years either. Mr. Manuel is one of the greatest mentors I've ever had and he's really just one of the most phenomenal teachers you know, I've ever gotten to um, be taught by. I'm really going to miss him. You know, I don't think anyone could have prepared me more for the AP test this year. I'll never forget the time I saw Mr. Manuel in a bright orange AP gym shirt that said swag. <laughs> what I really appreciate about Mr. Manuel is that he taught me how to think about issues and how to approach problems creatively. I was fortunate enough to have Mr. Manuel as a teacher uh, back in the 90s. He was my Chemistry 1 teacher and after having him for Chemistry 1, uh, Chemistry AP didn't seem all that hard. Uh, I was also blessed with being able to be a teacher along with him at Blue Springs High School. Seeing him interact with his students and seeing the, the amount of passion that he has as a teacher has inspired me a lot. Whether he realizes it or not, I've really enjoyed uh, learning all I can from him. Along with these teachers, other members of the Blue Springs High School staff will also be retiring. Attendant Secretary Judy Coley, Custodian Roger France, Head Custodian Larry Reeves, Media Specialist Lynn Reed, Custodian John Weber, and Attendant Secretary Sharon Weber. We at Blue Springs High School thank you for all that you've done and hope that the next journey in your life will be exciting and fulfilling. Signing off for Wildcat TV, this is Desiree Sandy. When we return, we will take a look at the Night of Forensics, an important library announcement, and have the final installment of One True Flora. All that and more when Wildcat TV returns. Welcome back. Any student interested in being the mascot for next year needs to see Ms. Peterman in 202 by May 20 for details. The senior breakfast will be on May 24 at 8 a.m. in the Commons. There will be a short meeting in the following in the PAC to explain graduation procedures. All senior obligations must be cleared prior to receiving cap and gown at senior breakfast. Now it's that time in the episode to get your mouth-watering app tied up. Learn how to make guacamole with this edition of Lunch with Laura. 
Hi, welcome to another episode of Lunch with Laura. Now, summer's right around the corner, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some fresh guacamole. Let's get started. First things first, you have to cut the avocados. You cut an avocado by starting on the top and then going all the way around. And then you twist it open, take your knife, hit the seed, twist it, and then throw the seed away. Next, you score the inside of the avocado so it's in little chunks, and then you can take it out with a spoon. So after you've chopped your avocado, you also need to put in some chopped white onion and some chopped jalapenos. You can also put in a Roma tomato if you'd like. Make sure you don't forget to put in a lime. And squeeze your lime juice just directly onto what you have. You also want to put in salt and pepper to taste. If you want a little bit of extra spice, it's good to put Tabasco sauce in your guacamole. And after you've got everything in there, you can mash it up with a fork. Now we have it all smashed up, and now you know how to make this delicious treat to share with your family and friends all summer long. This is Laura, signing off for the last episode of Lunch with Laura. Have a good summer. Thanks, Laura. You definitely made me hungry. Now, I know school is almost out, and most of us are looking forward to being done with the school year. But don't forget that you must turn in those library books. Let's go to reporter Kenny Swanson in the Media Center with more information. Thanks, Estina. I'm here in the Media Center with our own librarian, Miss Reed. As school comes to an end, it's going to be imperative that we get our books turned in on time. Um, what is the date that all the books need to be turned in by? All the books should have been turned in May 1st. So all of the books that are still out there need to be turned in as soon as possible. Okay, so. What are some of the consequences if they don't get those books turned in? Well, the first thing you're going to get is a letter in the mail if you haven't turned your book in on time. If we are not successful with that, everyone has been put on what we call an obligation list and that list is on Power School, and you'll find that you will owe $25 for that book. Uh, you, if you have lost that book, you have two choices. You may pay $25, or you may replace the book. Okay. As you can see, it's going to be very important that you fulfill all those obligations by the end of school. Back to you, Estina. Any girl interested in playing high school golf next fall, please attend a short meeting this Wednesday, May 15th in room 135 at 2.30 p.m. The final choir concert of the year is on Tuesday the 14th at 7 p.m. It's free and it's awesome, so you guys should all come. Also, the orchestra senior farewell concert is May 16th at 7 p.m. Our forensics team is always one of the best in the state and in our nation. They recently had an evening to showcase their talent. Neil Pugh was there to cover the event. On Thursday, May the 2nd, Miss Young and Blue Springs High School hosted the 6th Annual Night of Forensics. It showcased our school's amazing forensics team through 12 8 to 10 minute acting pieces ranging from comedy pieces to dramatic pieces. Oh, penguins! <laughs> It's a great show and a great tradition that the forensics team plans to continue for years to come. For Wildcat TV, I'm Neil Pugh. It's amazing the talent we have here at Blue Springs High School. We now go to Elijah Lee with a sports update. Thanks, Estina. The tennis team finished 7-3 on the season. Five out of the six varsity players were JV players last year, and they finished third in conference in spite of all the crazy weather. The girls soccer team has also fought through the weather, finishing 8-6 on the regular season. This is the first time in 10 years they have finished with a winning record and have beaten Lee Summit twice in one year. They've had a great year and we hope it continues. As for the baseball team, they are the top seed in the district tournament and play at 1 p.m. today here at the high school. While you cannot leave school to watch the game without parents excusing you, you can catch the action right after school at the baseball field. The boys and girls track and field teams have had phenomenal seasons this year. They continued those seasons this Saturday at home for the sectional track meet. Come out and support the team Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. as the Wildcat athletes look to qualify for state. That wraps it up for sports this week. Back to you, Estina. Thank you for joining us on Comcast 15 and AT&T U for Night. 
You can always view our latest episodes on wildcattvnews.com. Look forward to our final episode of Wildcat TV next week. And seniors, enjoy this last week of school. And remember, it's a great day to be a Wildcat.